Nate loves midgets and knives. And every time he goes to the circus, he just comes. <laughs> what's the industry out here? Like, what's, what's everyone's job? Sales? Depression. That sounds like something that's uniquely you, sir. <laughs> I kind of want to, like, dig into this, but I feel like it's just going to get sadder and sadder. Why are you depressed? You're an orphan? Jesus Christ! <laughs> he said since 11, so he knew the pronoun. <laughs> I got no orphan material, guys. <laughs> yeah, I want to get to know you guys a bit. Is anyone, uh, is anyone here in a relationship? Anyone dating? Dating people? Bit, yeah. uh, you guys are dating? A little bit. <laughs> you know, when we're, we're in the same area code, we're exclusive, but outside of that, we got to everyone. <laughs> What does a little bit of dating mean? It means that we just began talking. Oh, you just started talking. Just in the talking. How long have you guys been talking for? Uh, on and off? <laughs> on and off for a year. <laughs> He's like, we just started to get to know each other. Yeah, because you're like, we're kind of dating, but you were just holding hands like two <laughs> seconds ago. Okay, how did you guys meet? At the bar. At the bar. Ooh, bar pickup. Who went up to who? What'd you say? You want to play quarters? That's actually a pretty slick move. I like that. I might steal that move. That's a good one. But why did you say kind of dating? Because we've been on and off. We just picked it back up five months. Oh, so you broke up for a bit. Oh, why'd you guys break up? I want the juice, guys. We're going to find everyone's problem. This guy's an orphan. These guys are falling apart. Okay, so what, what happened? You got pregnant. No, Not with his baby. Oh yeah, yeah. This is fucking crazy, guys. I gotta tell you guys. Normally out the gate, it doesn't get this hot. Right now. Man, I mean, we don't normally have fucking infidelity and Batman. That's not how it fucking kicks off. <laughs> oh, you shoot. Oh, you were pregnant before you guys met. Okay, no, and then, so then you're like, I got this baby, what do we do? Yeah. And you were like, peace. <laughs> What's this little baby? Four months old, little guy, and you're fucking stepping in? Dude, good for you. There's someone else who needs a dad right here. <laughs> Man, he, he's fucking potty training and everything. You just got fucking... He just needs hugs. That's it. You just gotta give him a good hug. Anyone here want to be honest with me with their porn search history? <laughs> got a big yes over here. Right here, buddy. What's your porn search? Midget porn. Midget porn. Now, are you saying that for real or is no, that. Dead eye. Like, sometimes I get the craving for midget porn. <laughs> <laughs> the craving. <laughs> it's like fucking Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. He does the fucking chainers. Like a werewolf on a full moon, and like that ah, movie's got the craving. Where the little people? <laughs> what is it about midget porn that fucking gets you going? The acrobatics. The acrobatics. <laughs> I guess there are so many angles and things you can do with a person of that size. You can't do with a normal person. Normal? I didn't mean normal. <laughs> so what? What's your fave thing to see in midget porn? <laughs> Bro, I am I'm just happy that I'm not you <laughs> cause that's such a specific thing to need to come you know yeah little legs just like he's having sex with a regular sized lady and she's like what's wrong and he looks at her legs he's like nothing <laughs> have you ever had sex with a, a little lady no, man, it's, on the it's on the bucket list dude are there any midgets here right now dude I mean, we'll stop calling them midgets. <laughs> this will turn into a clip and we'll get you fucked, dude. We'll get your, your dick sucked by those little hands. <laughs> My dick looks huge right now. Okay, anyone else? Porn search history. Hentai. What is it about hentai porn that you love? <laughs> oh, what a fucking creep over here. 
Oh, I know. I Dude, I gotta be honest with you. I do that shit all the time. <laughs> Every time, I don't know if you guys play Overwatch. Overwatch is a very popular shooter. Every time an Overwatch new character drops, I'm like, okay. <laughs> Go to the Overwatch porn subreddit, uh, and then I fucking take my scrolls, and then I go like, ah, well done today. I had a nice jizz. Thank you, sir. I just love that there's like an artist who's like doing it. There's a guy who's like fucking, he sees it, because like, when a new Overwatch or new like character drops in certain things, there's like a race. Like all these guys get out there, they're like, I gotta be the first one to get these things out there. <laughs> like making people jizz under duress. So I like when there's one, do you guys remember Lady Demistrescu from Resident Evil 8? She was like this super tall vampire lady with like massive tits. It was like a collective moment where all the nerds on the internet were jizzing to the same thing. <laughs> they came together in one cum. And it's like, it was very spiritual, I think. <laughs> okay, one more. One more. Knives. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, you want someone to be holding a knife as they fuck you? Yeah. <laughs> You're, yeah. <laughs> the horniest man alive. <laughs> This dude said, please. <laughs> said, please, so shine a ladder. Please, please, who's this woman? <laughs> I've never heard like panic and desperation like that before. This guy's been waiting for you his whole life, man. You want to see how tall she is? Oh, it's... <laughs> dude, this guy loves midgets and knives. Fucking every time he goes to the circus, he just comes. <laughs> so what does someone do with the knife? It, it wasn't something I knew I liked until my boyfriend was like sharpening some knives one night. And I was like, wow. <laughs> like soaked. <laughs> so what is he just like hold the knife to you as he fucks you? <laughs> Alright, well, do it with the dull knife to start. <laughs> like a practice fuck knife. That's wild, man. Because I feel like ladies are so much more specific in the ways that they get turned on. Like, dudes are like very, we're very prime, like, oh, tits? You put tits on a foot? I like feet now. That's like, that's how dudes get going. But that, like, you were like, a guy was sharpening knives and it got me going, your girl could be at hibachi and you're like, she's like, ooh. And you're like, <laughs> <laughs> and you're just being like, it's a great show, right? It's a great show. Yeah, it's a fucking good show. <laughs>